immediately we go. <sighs> Okay, I'm yeah. feeling better already. Excellent. It's a new year, which means it might be time to take a step out of your comfort zone and face your fears. Yeah, that's right. And joining us this morning with ways to take your fears, head on. We've got our life coach, Ryan Haddon, here. Welcome. Happy New Year. Thanks. It's so great to be here. Happy New Year. We've already we already started picking that big brain of hers, right. talking uh, about okay. So when we breathe, what do we do? What do, we do, and now? do, 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 do. What's the best way to do this? Okay. First of all, yeah. why is it? First of all, thank you for joining us. Yes. Second of all, love again. the manicure. Third of all. <laughs> Comfort Why zone. is it important to step out of our comfort zone? Because I think most people think, okay, the comfort zone, where is it? Why is it important? Do I really need to go there? If right. I go there, do I ever right. come back? Right. right. And there's a part of us that doesn't want to get out of the comfort right. zone because we want to stay safe, right? The whole body's set up and like, mm -hmm. oh, I don't want to go into that fear place. But we really can optimize and have a better life and really step into all our dreams and have better relationships when we get out of that comfort zone. Because it's not actually about comfort, it's about mm. fear. Right? True. It's about fear. So how can we live alongside the fear? Feel the fear and do it anyway, right? We've heard that before. So having a couple of tips, having a couple of ways to do that, and knowing you're going to feel it when you're getting outside of that comfort zone. Right. So just accepting that. There'll be fearful moments. I'm going to have a fear of failure, fear of success, right. whatever that is for mm -hmm. your disappointment, and just living alongside that while you're moving forward. Right. I was literally going to say, so you mean like living alongside? <laughs> so yes, that's, yeah, that's yes. Exactly. making friends with it. Right. But, but it, yes. it takes time to learn that. So what types of things can we do to get to that point where we either don't run from the fear or shut mm -hmm. the door on it? No, I don't want to look at you. Totally. I don't want to deal with right. you. Yep. And, and realize, hey, this is going to be, at the end, helpful yes. and progressive for me. How do right. we, what do we do? So let's just start in the beginning here and just say, make a list of things that you want to do, that you're willing to take a risk for, right. that you're willing to get. Make that list. What is that for you? Because it's going to be different for everybody. So figure out what that is for you, what you're willing to take a chance with. Then narrow down onto one thing, because it could be overwhelming mm -hmm. if you're like, I'm going to take it all on. No. Right. Pick the one thing. Do that. Then take baby steps, right. measurable baby steps. Just kind of graph those out. Maybe write it all down. What would be little ways I could move this needle forward around this goal, this thing I want to step into, this way I want to show up in a relationship or in parenting or whatever that is. It could be purpose. It could be a partnership, whatever. Figure out what that is. Mm -hmm. Then find those actionable ways. Then get comfortable with the discomfort. Right. <laughs> because right. when we're pushing into a new way of being and showing up, it's going to be awkward. Give yeah. yourself that grace to be awkward, to not know how to do it, to feel like, oh, yeah. right? That's totally normal. Yeah. You're not doing it wrong. That's appropriate. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Give yourself props for right. doing it, right? And that's another thing. Surround yourself with people that are supportive. That's a big thing, right? Or put yourself in the middle of other people that are doing what you're doing. You're doing it well. Maybe if it's parenting, join a parenting group where everyone's troubleshooting. Mm -hmm. If it's a purpose and you want to be a writer, join a writing group. Do something that you're surrounded with other people that have the same sort of mission and that are showing up in that same way in, in um, with a little bit of fearlessness. Right. And then also find um, that you're going to have to coach yourself through it. Right. Mm -hmm and know what works for you. How do you self-soothe? What happens when you feel that contraction? Do you walk? Do you write? Do you meditate? Do you breathe? <laughs> if it's important, like know what works for you and it's gonna change because in different seasons one thing sure. works and then it doesn't right. another. Yeah. So keep being open to trying new ways to when you do feel that fear to be able to lean into something else, right? right? And then the next thing would be to do those affirmations. And affirmations don't usually work, and I want to say this to all the, <laughs> the uh -huh. New Year's, you know, people right out the gate starting with their affirmations. If you're doing it from this very fast brainwave activity state, like how we're talking now, mm -hmm. they're not going to take root and hold. Right. <laughs> so you want to do them after you've done a meditation, after you've done a breath work, when you're in that calm and peaceful place, when the brainwave activity state is slower, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. those affirmations take root and they become beliefs. So that's when you would talk to yourself in a, in a kind and loving way. I can do this. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm um, stepping into my purpose fearlessly, abundantly. Those are some of the ways. You have to be in an open state right. to receive yes. that, so yeah. to speak. And okay. that's when your affirmations take off. Right. 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 Yeah. So, can you help us? You brought us a little breathing yeah. exercise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. breathing. Yes. Yes, we can. We're going to do the four, seven, eight breath work. Okay. It's easy okay. to remember. We're going to breathe in. Let me write that down. For four, four, seven, eight. No. Four, <laughs> seven, eight. We're going to breathe in for four. We're going to hold for seven. And we're going to exhale long for eight. Breathe. Maricel loves I know, the, the long, long exhale. exhale. I'm a quick exhaler. That's my problem, <laughs> I think. Um, before we do this breathing, how do you breathe? I was noticing this with my mother. Hmm. Without lifting your shoulders, just just kind of think, don't do it. Because I'm like, Mommy, you're, you're lifting your shoulders. And she's Why like, I do it naturally. Yeah, right. Why don't you just naturally roll them back okay. so your heart's open, okay. right? So it actually gives more space in the body to receive the air. And this helps us have better sleep, 
It helps us with memory. It helps us with pain management, okay. anxiety, emotions. It's right what here. What Ryan Perfect. doesn't realize yeah. is we're going to take her with us everywhere. I know. Oh, yeah. I need the constant <laughs> reminders. Yeah. Okay, let's All do right. it. Four, All right. Seven, eight. Ready? So yes. we're going to breathe in through the nose. Everybody follow along. Mm -hmm. to roll those shoulders back. Open the chest. And we're going to breathe in to the count of four. Breathing in through the nose. One, two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Long exhale out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. It's one more. Breathing in. Two, three, four, and hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Long exhale out. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Yes. Wow. You did. Do Two we have rounds. to do the rest of the show? You got this. I can I, <laughs> that was I'm fantastic. The simplest Excuse thing mm -hmm. that is innate. Who knew? You have it right there. Um, a tool right here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so right beautiful. Ahead. Thank you so much. Thanks Thank for you. having me. Once again, again, happy new year. Four seven eight That's for right. all of you. <laughs> I, I love it. Yeah. All right.